The second wave of Detroit Lions roster cuts is in. I waited as long as I could to make sure that I got mostly everybody in here. Not as many folks as it was yesterday, but the Detroit Lions are taking their time with the roster cuts leading up to tomorrow. They have less than 24 hours at the making of this video at 715. They have under 24 hours to get the roster cuts in. Now, the way it probably will work is when four o'clock happens, they may or may not be have be it be announced that it'll be done to the NFL, but we might not get the word until a little bit after. And again, we had 13 players cut yesterday. We had 24 remaining, right. That needed to be cut. Yes. 37. We, right. We had 23 because we had already been down one with the release of Denzel Mims earlier last week. So that left 23 people. And it looks like we got rid of another Six today, in, in a sense, got rid as in removed from the active roster consideration. And coming from Pride of Detroit, we have Hendon Hooker, who is going to be on the NFI list. That is the non-football injury list. And remember, I call it the Jamison Williams list. That's essentially the Jamison Williams list. He will be out for, I want to say, the first four weeks of the season for sure. It could be between four and seven. He's going to be out, but we knew that was going to happen. So that's unexpected. Uh, Totally expected. Dylan Drummond is probably the headliner today. Offensive tackle Connor Galvin, QB Adrian Martinez, offensive tackle Ryan Sawoboda, and guard Coyote Awasaka. No surprises there. We figured that that would happen with Teddy Bridgewater when it comes to Martinez being quarterback number two. We pretty much figured that that was not going to happen. Any chance he had making the team would be on the practice squad. So since there's not a lot of players to talk about and we still have a little bit of time left on this video, let's take a look at what the roster is shaping up to look like now. We have 70 players on our roster and we have 17 remaining cuts that we need to do. We this So we can also include Nate Sudfeld off of that. He's going to come off of that list and make that 69. Eventually, they're going to probably either cut him or place him on IR. And then the running backs, the people still in consideration, Jamar Jefferson, Benny Snell, Jason Cabinda, I think Craig Reynolds. I think the way that Pride of Detroit listed this is how pretty much the order that we're going to see. Wide receiver. St. Brown, Reynolds, Khalif Raymond, Marvin Jones, Antoine Green, Chase Cota, Maurice Alexander. I honestly believe that it's going to be this is the guy that's going to wind up on a practice squad with this is and this is the guy making the team. Now again, you have to remember that there are people that's going to be cut from other teams that the Lions are no doubt looking at as well. So, it's funny cuz we had something happen last year where a person made the 53 man several players made the 53 man roster and then like the next day they were cut. So that initial 53 is just that the initial 53 man roster. Tight end uh, Daryl Daniels is probably going to be gone. It's just a matter of time, practice squad. And pretty much this is the same. We're probably only keep, I think I read somewhere that we're going to keep maybe eight. So I see Cecil, Brad Cecil, and Pincher or Percher coming off that, that list. Uh, and these two probably, Corey Dirt, Corey played very well in the last preseason game. So it's possible, but I see these two gentlemen coming off. Edge, really? I just see Julian coming off here. Linebacker, I think Trevor for sure. Maybe Anthony, but Anthony's a special teamer. and We know how our coach loves special teamers. When it comes to the cornerbacks, nine, Emmanuel Mosley will be on probably some type of list. He'll probably be on a, the PUP list or something to start the season, which pretty much leaves Khalil, Khalil Dorsey, the odd man out, if... Brad Holmes doesn't decide to keep him as well. Safety. I think these two, maybe even three are gone. Even though Brandon, Brady Breeze played pretty well, but I think here, I don't know, man, we could see maybe somebody, somebody that we get up in here. And let me see, where is somebody's missing? Oh, they got, so they got Brian Branch under a corner, a cornerback. It's weird. It seems like they put him where they want, but Right here, I could see all three of these. I could see him not making the team. Brady Breeze winds up going on a practice squad. 
and possibly Brandon as well. And then here, Parker Romo would be the guy to get cut. So it's pretty much shaping up exactly how we expect expected it to as far as the 53-man roster is concerned. The It's just a couple of things. 17 people need to be cut. They all have to be cut tomorrow. So we could have maybe two two lists. Maybe it's an early list or a late and a later list, or maybe all 17 are announced as one. As as at once then we have the mike evans situation that's kind of gaining some traction it's all over twitter it's 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 it reminds me of when twitter got excited and what wind up being teddy bridgewater but the the mike evans thing is, is starting to kind of become a, a have a mind of its own so we'll see how that works out could happen tomorrow tonight could not happen at all we'll see but this is going to be intriguing to see who makes the team but i pretty much gave you my list outside of the people that we're probably going to bring in. So expect this to happen. Tomorrow, they'll announce the 53-man roster, the initial 53-man roster, right? Then they'll pick up somebody, drop somebody else. Expect, like, somebody to be dropped, somebody to be picked up. It could be Chase Coda. Like, Chase Coda could make the initial 53. Then if we get Mike Evans, then what happens there? Or if another receiver is available or any other position, let's see if Emile Fonbu makes the initial 53, and then he's put off and, and released due to somebody else being available. So that's how that's going to go. I'm expecting two reports max, but probably just one where we see, unless we get something in the morning, maybe we get between, maybe we get seven in the morning and then the last 10 at night, we'll see how that goes. But we have to know by four o'clock tomorrow, I think we'll know for sure if the line, if it's not out by five, five thirty, six o'clock, sometimes the lions are really, really slow and they're taking their time with these cuts. So let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Who do you think makes the team, man? Is it now it's getting like to the nitty gritty, man, of of people that's going to make this team, and we're going to have some quality players getting cut. But I like the way the roster is shape, shaping up. Let me know in the comments below what do you feel, how are you feeling about how the roster is looking, and make sure you do that. Listen, we hit thirteen thousand subscribers today. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. I don't get an achievement to put a community post, but I wanted to let you know that we have grown over three hundred subscribers in less than twenty four hours, and that's all because of you. I could not be where I am without you. Everybody watching, from the the subscribers, the non subscribers, you all matter. Okay, so I appreciate you. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. My thing is this: if you if you watched at least three, of it, if if you keep watching me, then that should tell you something. Stop, stop holding it. Stop being stingy with your subscription and give it to me. I would appreciate that. <laughs> Plus, you know, if, if you keep watching, why not subscribe, right? So anyway. This is probably the last video for today. I will see you guys tomorrow unless we get some breaking news. We might have that later today. You guys are awesome. Take care of yourself. Thank you for subscribing to the channel, for rocking with me as well. Don't forget about the live watch party happening the 17th. I think I think I, we've sold about 30 tickets or so. So get yours because we are running out of space. And as always, go Lions. Take care of yourself and each other.